Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I want you guys to take a look at this new Soho image of our sun, where there appears to be uh, what looks like a massive multi-legged object hovering in the vicinity, I mean somewhere in between the camera and the sun, obviously. This particular image really sparked my interest. Because not only do we have this eerie, artificial-looking object, and we'll go ahead and zoom in here, but what is even more astounding about this that sort of rules out that this is a camera glitch or something like that, sort of streaking through the sky, is that this object is displaying lights and shadows on the structure. So as we've zoomed in here, and we'll show you some different uh, filters on this object, the object and the shadows on it perfectly correlate with where the sun is hitting it, its position in the sky. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. We see almost what looks like a probe. We see a large object with what appears to be three long legs coming out of it. And you can look at this and it definitely looks like a three-dimensional structure. Furthermore, as you're looking at this, you can see the sunlight hitting this object, reflecting the leg here, reflecting the upper portion. But you can also see parts of the legs as well as the back of the main structure in shadow. As a matter of fact, and you can do this at home, if you have a camera tripod, because that's actually what this looks like. It looks like a tripod. And if you hold your tripod up above a light bulb, a lit light bulb, you will get the same exact shadowing where the top of this tripod here is actually blocking part of the sun from hitting the upper portions of these legs here. It's blocking the sunlight. Hence, you see particularly this long leg here uh, in shadow. And then as the legs extend out and come in view of the sun's rays, we see that they are lit. So that really drove this home for me. This uh, is definitely, in my opinion, an object of some sort, and it's not one of ours. Uh, we currently have no objects publicly that look like this orbiting the sun. And so the question becomes, what is this? Take a look at it for yourselves. And it's kind of creepy because it reminds you of those tripod aliens in the film The War of the Worlds, where you have these massive, scary, tripod-looking aliens, which honestly look really similar to what we're seeing here. Here's a picture from the film. And now that I'm looking at it and comparing it, this really does look like what we're seeing in this image. I mean, look at, look at this clip here of one of these tripods where we have a large upper portion, uh, we'll call the body, at the very top, and then we have three long legs extending out from this uh, base, this upper body. And then we look at this image on the Soho, and I mean, you guys tell me. And then it goes back to a lot of these science fiction films have eerily enough gotten a lot of things right. <laughs> you know, that were supposedly nothing but science fiction, fabrications, conjured. And then we'll see these objects in space that look a little bit too coincidentally identical to these craft or ships and um, it, it wouldn't be the first time that we've spoken about the fact that Hollywood is drip feeding us information uh, a lot of fiction mixed up with some partial truths so I will put the link to this down in the video description check it out for yourselves it's right there what is this object passing by our Sun captured in this Soho image here let me know what you guys think now for some strange UFO sightings captured down here on Earth. Here is a new image that was tweeted not even 24 hours ago from the posting of this video uh, by a very popular DJ and musician who goes by the name Wolfgang Gartner. And he posted this image here tweeting, and I quote, Dude, I just saw a UFO while we were landing at LAX. Or a blimp, but let's call it a UFO. So he was landing at LAX airport. We see another plane either taking off or landing, and then in the distance there, we see this very dark cylindrical object. Now, I've looked over the photo. A lot of other people who commented on his original post, some of which said that it could possibly be the Goodyear blimp, but others who said that after looking at this closely, that this really doesn't have a blimp 
type shape but there's something off about it it just doesn't look like the blimp it's black it's a little bit too thin and long to be a blimp uh, so i wanted to post this here you can check out the original tweet so shout out to the viewer who uh tweeted that over to me now we have a, a new piece of video in of what is possibly a tr3b style craft captured silently moving over tennessee so check this out Now, this was captured by Jason Bales, who lives in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and uh, he captured this night shot of a triangular object moving overhead uh, with some very strange lights on it. We see these two lights uh, at each corner of the triangle, which is typical of the TR-3B Black Manta style crafts, which if you don't know, the TR-3B is a secret black project craft and it's in the shape of a black triangle now there have been many sightings of these with sources describing seeing a light on each corner of the triangle as well as a red light on the bottom center of the craft which at times is off and at times is either solid or blinking so it's very similar to what we're seeing here and you'll notice at times we see other lights suddenly appear for a few moments and then disappear at one of the corners on this craft. And so we have the triangular shape, we have the lights on the corners, and we have a red light in the center, which almost precisely coincides with the testimony we have from witnesses who have seen these triangular, silent, anti-gravity ships both in our atmosphere and our skies, but also uh, we've shown you this famous photograph taken from space showing yet another one of these objects. And um, yeah, wanted to see what you guys thought. So big thanks to Mr. Jason Bales. Here's a clip captured of the UK recently. So check this out. Yeah. It's really good. Very relaxing. Let's do one of these. Although we've got that round one. All right, so this was emailed to me by a viewer uh, who captured this silent uh, craft moving through the skies at around 8 p.m. in Newcastle, England. Uh, he said that the object looked incredibly odd. Um, in his opinion, the object was between one and two miles away from him and was moving pretty fast. So whatever this thing was, it was large. Now, the source of this did want to remain anonymous, which I totally understand. Uh, he, like many of our past viewers and uh, video submissions, have uh, wanted to do because they fear that they may get a knock on the door at some point by capturing and publishing videos of these things. And uh, this object, whatever it was, it, it gave him that sort of uneasy feeling. So I said, no problem, we'll post it up. We'll just keep it strictly to the info we need, which is that this was in Newcastle, England. So anyone in Newcastle see this thing or get a better shot, shoot me an email, I'd really appreciate it. Now, on to some other news. A recent report has come out and has revealed that the Pentagon is now running England's military UFO hunting unit and have taken it over. According to a new article on RT.com, American military intelligence is now running the UK's axed UFO hunting squad 
from a building in a hidden corner of London's stylish Soho Square. So this UFO hunting unit was actually a part of the secretive Ministry of Defense and was axed and shut down in 2009. But apparently now it is being run and has been reactivated by a shadowy U.S. colonel who is spearheading the unit. Uh, the group is now mainly comprised of Americans, but still employs a number of Brits to review and look over all of these, quote, real-life X-Files. Uh, the project is also now being funded by the U.S. government. According to news reports, an unidentified military official regularly visits from Washington uh, to keep tabs on the intergalactic activities monitored from 7 Soho Square in England. The military source is quoted as saying, There was pressure from a similar unit in the Pentagon which wanted to incorporate the MOD UFO hunting unit. It was decided to move the unit to Soho Square and I understand that it now has a number of American personnel. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that England, as well as the U.S., uh, despite this project being shut down in 2009, have clearly maintained their interest in the activities happening outside of our planet and in our skies. Very, very interesting. So not only do we have this new piece of information to corroborate the fact that there is a huge amount of interest continuing in our government, but we have another report that has just come from a NASA astronaut who has recently returned home from spending 230 days in space on the International Space Station, uh, who has come out and publicly stated that he firmly believes that aliens are all around us and that space is, without a doubt, inhabited with other beings. And this is all according to Mr. Leroy Chiao, who is a NASA astronaut and was the commander on the International Space Station, and who has completed nearly 230 days in space, along with six spacewalks. Now, as with anything, the astronaut has been uh, targeted by skeptics and fellow astronauts. Uh, Mr. William Baruki, who is a famous NASA scientist and a pioneer in the finding of new planets, said that, quote, if there were alien life, wouldn't we know about it by now? The evidence says no one's out there. Well, um, <laughs> I don't have to tell you guys or point out the flaws in this guy's argument. I mean, I could spend an hour on a whole other video uh, breaking down the nonsense uh, that Mr. Baruki just spewed the claim that there's no evidence and that the evidence we do have says that there's no one out there. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, I mean, I'm not going to respond to this at this point. We're short on time, uh, but the evidence clearly shows that we are not alone, as does common sense. So, yet another, you know, yet another clue um, that... Not only are our governments taking a continued interest in this phenomenon, but uh, our astronauts, our very own astronauts, are also firm believers, most of them, uh, that we are not alone. And uh, I'm sure that their belief is also based on uh, probably some things that they've seen while up there in space. Of course, that they will never talk about, uh, likely because they are under a gag order and have probably all signed non-disclosure agreements, but... It does not take a rocket scientist or an astronaut to know that we are not alone. So, before we finish today's video, I just want to show you a, a very cool new uh, creation that I was emailed about from a viewer, and I will post the uh, full article about this down in the video description. But what you are looking at here is a new material that, using electricity, very little electricity in fact, these objects made from this material are instantly able to change their transparency. In other words, we have objects made of this material that can go from solid to see-through instantly. According to a new Motherboard article on Vice.com, a team of European researchers have created uh, this material and are able to manipulate the transparency of real-world objects which provides huge implications for the future of camouflage technology, especially when you're talking about military applications. 
and it also opens the door to a variety of other applications that will vary depending on what it's used for, uh, such as lamps that will be able to appear and change shape, phone screen overlays, and other things like that. So this team of experts created uh, a material called Polymer Dispersed Liquid Crystal, or PDLC. And this material apparently has some really unique properties, wherein which when low levels of voltage are applied to its surface, the material changes from opaque to transparent. So in a nutshell, what we have here is a thin sheet comprised of a layer of liquid crystals sandwiched between two layers of conductive material called indium tin oxide, all of which is encased in an outer insulating material. And so they print this stuff out, and then they fold it up and create these 3D as well as 2D objects and cutouts. And all it takes is the flip of a switch or the press of a button, and you go from solid to transparent very quickly. As I'm sure many of you guys are thinking, which is what I thought when I saw this, is as they master the use of this material, there is an obvious application to military uh, stealth tech. I mean, imagine a craft where in which a large majority of its parts are made using a material such as this, or a variant of this material that will allow objects to virtually disappear with the flip of a switch. So it's really crazy. I mean, it's awesome stuff. Uh, you can check out the full article. I'll put it down in the video description, uh, but it, this is a very simple thing that they've made here, and uh, it has far-reaching implications. So, really, really cool. I'll post a link to the article. You can check out the full video, too, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to stop over on social media and say what's up to me. I love chatting with you guys over there. And uh, I'll be working on another video as we speak that'll be up uh, hopefully very soon. So definitely look out for that. And I'll see you back here in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.